Okay, so let's prove that these triangles are congruent now. Let's prove that these triangles are congruent. So these triangles can be congru con proven congruent by which theorem? Well, what do we already have? We have a side of angles, a set of angles. We have some sides. And then what can I add? First of all, here are the methods. Angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, angle, side, 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 and HL. Those are your four gu five guys you have to choose from. So let's look for an additional piece of information. You need three pieces. We always need three pairs, three pairs of something in order to establish one of these. I've got special little angles right here. What do we call those? Those are vertical. And what do we know about vertical angles? They're always congruent. So now the two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Or sorry, ignore me. Angle, side, angle. Because we've got a side included between two angles. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. Okay? So let's use that premise to move on and do the rest of these. So let's look at 35. In 35, the triangles can be congruent. Well, look at them. I have an angle, an included side, and an angle, all the same length. Angle, side, angle. This is another ASA. Angle, side, angle. Okay. So moving on, let's look at the next one. I've got two triangles here. I've got a side. I've got perpendiculars. Those are angles. And then what's my additional piece of information that I can add here? Well, they share this side. That is your reflexive property. Remember reflexive, so CD is congruent to CD. So now I can say side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So that's SASS. Don't be sassy. All right, so let's move on to the last one on this page. And look at these. I'm going to go ahead and use, these are side lengths, so I'm going to mark what I can. 10 is congruent to 10, 12 is congruent to 12, and 13 is congruent to 13. This is pretty simple. This is side, side, side. The three triangles have the same congruent sides. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And the last two, yay! Okay, in triangle ABC, DC bisects. What does bisect mean? Cut in half. DC bisects angle ACB. All right. I'm going to put ACB in color here. So DC cuts this angle in half. That means this angle and this angle are the same. Does everybody see that? Okay. Then it goes on to tell you that CD is perpendicular to AB. So CD and AB are perpendicular, which means these are right angles. Okay, so there's the second piece. So the question is, how do we know they're congruent? Well, what other piece of information, because we need three pairs, can you decipher? What do they share? CD. There's the old reflexive property again. That's the reflexive property of congruence. They share CD. If I were to take these two triangles apart, this is what I would have. Right angle, share that side, angle's the same. So what is this? Angle, side, angle. That's C. Angle, side, angle, ASA. And the last one. Which of the following proves these two triangles congruent by side, angle, side? Now, side, angle, side needs, means you need two pairs of sides. Okay? That's important. So let's look at our answer choices. We can mark out D. What is D? D is all angles. And remember, we can't even use AAA. All right? We can mark out C because what does C have? Two pairs of angles and a side. At best, that's angle, side, angle. So it's we're looking for two pairs of sides. If we're going to use side, angle, side, it has to be two pairs of sides. So we're down to A and B. Let's mark it up like A. A says BC is congruent to EF. Angle C is congruent to angle F. And CD is congruent to FG. Now, we're looking for an angle included between two sides, and we do have that there, so the answer is A. That is correct. Let's see if B is actually a correct answer or not also. If we use B, 
that B says that BC is congruent to EF, CD is congruent to FG, and DB is congruent to GE. We can't use that because that's not side angle side, that would be side side side. So the only correct answer is A.